Cut, copy, and paste are commands that you'll hear frequently and uh, probably use often in most any software program. Cut, copy, and paste are methods of duplicating data or moving information around or even sharing information between programs. Here in this video we're going to cover some of the basics of cut, copy, and paste. Um, the commands or the icons for these features exist on the home tab of the ribbon. Here the scissors correspond to cut, the two little pages side by side correspond to copy, and paste corresponds to the clipboard icon over on the left. Now paste has a few additional options which uh, we'll cover uh, separately. Uh, looking at our uh, ABC company spreadsheet here, say I wanted to copy the information we have on the screen from this sheet number one, the first sheet, to sheet number two and say maybe we'd like to modify it but we don't want to have to create it from scratch again. Well one way of doing so is copying the data. In order to copy just highlight what you'd like to copy. You can then click on the copy icon here. If you like to use a keyboard shortcut notice that control C will do that as well. I'm going to click on the copy icon. Notice in Excel when you select a range of data to copy. Once it's been copied to an invisible area called the clipboard, you'll notice it has a little moving border around the outline of that area. All right. When I then click on to sheet two, I click where the upper left hand corner of my data would go and I click on the paste icon. Okay. Now I'm going to need to probably expand the columns a little bit, but you see it brought in the entire sheet. I'm going to go ahead and widen these columns here. And I'm going to need to do the same for A, B, and C. So we have a spreadsheet where we can see all the data. And now if I go back to sheet one and then I click on sheet two, I'll see I have the same information. And it was quickly copied from one sheet to the next. To get rid of that little moving border, if you just hit your escape key, that will take that border away. Now, if I would like to cut or physically remove certain information from my sheet. Then we use the scissors icon or the control X command. Say I wanted to cut out, here's one way of doing this, the uh, maybe the last column here, the new 2007 salary information. I could highlight the range of data I would like to cut, click on the scissors, that as well will give you the little moving border around the outside of the area, the range. Maybe I want to cut and copy or cu actually cut and paste that information onto my sheet three. I come to sheet three, click where I want the data to appear, click on my paste icon. I'm going to widen my column. There's my 2007 salary data. If I click back to sheet one, I notice that the column that formerly contained that information is now blank. So the difference between copy and cut is copy will will keep the information where it is initially and it will also let you paste it into a new spot. Cut will physically remove the information that you select. It will then paste it into the new location. I'm going to go ahead and undo and take myself back to where I was before. And I'm going to go back to my sheet number one, hit escape. All right, and we'll show you in this sheet uh, a few other examples. And this is one of several ways of duplicating or moving data around using cut, copy, and paste. I'm going to select by clicking and dragging the last three rows on my sheet here. I'm going to, I want to remove them. So I'm going to click on my cut command. Say for some reason I wanted to move them further down. I can go down or scroll down in the sheet. I can then click on my paste. And that will have moved or relocated those rows of information to a new location. Let me go back again. And escape will get my border away. Now while we're talking about you know cut, copy, and paste, I would like to also show you a way of moving data in a spreadsheet. Um, this is a pretty easy technique. Say I wanted to move this entire range. I highlight what I want. Now the cursor, as you should know, you need to play, pay close attention to the shape that it takes on. It's normally a three-dimensional plus. 
However, if I move it over the edge of an active cell or an active range of data, it then changes from a plus to a four-way pointing arrow. If I position my mouse such that it's right when the cursor is a four-way pointing arrow, I can then click in and hold in my left mouse key, and then I can drag and then release the button, and that will allow me to physically relocate my information to a new spot. I'll go and I'll bring it back up again. I have the range of data selected. I move the cursor over the edge such that I get the four-way pointer. Click and hold in the left mouse button. Roll the mouse in the direction I want to go and then release it. All right. In some cases here, you might get a little message about merged cells. And here in this case, my title is merged because if you remember, I used the merge and center icon to merge the cells and center the heading. All right. I'm going to need to say OK. And uh, I'm just going to need to correct that. So let me just highlight the range across where I'd like to center my title. I'm going to click that Merge and Center, and there we go. That's been corrected. All right, so here you saw methods on how to cut and paste, how to copy and paste, and also how to move data on the screen.